Hi, my name is Paul McCormack. I'm an artist from New York, um, primarily known for my portraits in watercolor, my portraits in oil. Um, I'm here today to give you a little lesson on stretching watercolor paper. It seems very basic, but it's something that you need to know. Um, first, the paper. I'm using a 140-pound cold press. This is actually Fabriano. Um, I don't really use Fabriano. It's a little soft for me. I'm more of an arches kind of guy, um, just because it's a harder paper. But nonetheless, the process is the same. Um, and what we're going to do first is we're going to find the watermark on the paper. And you could find that easily by holding it up to the light. You can see the watermark. This way you could tell the front from the back. If the name of the paper is legible, you know you have the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pencil mark on the back. And we're going to soak this paper for about five minutes. But before I put it in the water, I just want to talk about the substrate that we are stretching our paper on. This is a piece of uh, homo soap. Uh, it's a building supply. It's kind of like a very thick pressed cardboard type of material. It's very lightweight, lighter than plywood. I used to use plywood all the time, but half inch plywood, especially larger, it could be pretty heavy, you know, especially if you're carting around to workshops and whatnot. So homo soap is nice. It lasts longer than, say, the gator board from continuous staples going around the edges. So I highly recommend it. Um, so now we have our pencil mark on the back. And what we're going to do is I just have a little tub of water here. Um, it's not quite, I usually do this in the bathtub and lay it flat. But you don't have to. You can roll it up. And we're just going to stick it in this bucket over here and let it soak for about five minutes. And as soon as it's ready to come out, um, we'll be right back and I'll show you how we're going to get it down onto our board. Okay, well, our paper has been soaking for about five minutes now. You don't want to let it soak any longer than that, really. It'll pull too much size in from the paper. It'll also eventually turn it to tissue paper. So we're going to take it out of the water, let some of the excess drip off, and we know the back because of the pencil mark. Very simply, we're going to throw it over the edge of the board and start to pull it onto the homo soap. Get it nice and straight. You'll feel it catch. Get nice and taut. Straighten it. We're going to take our staple gun, just a light duty staple gun. We're going to hit the center of each side. Then from there we hit the corners. Now we're going to fill in the middle. Also note how I have my hand on the bottom of the staple gun. This will allow, as a guide, and get your staples all nice and even. You want your staples at least a half inch in, about an inch apart. If you go too close to the edge of the paper, when the paper dries and contracts, that paper will just literally rip right off the board. Now we're going to fill in between. And I think I failed to mention, well, why do you want to stretch your paper? Well, if you're working on a 140 pound cold press or any pound lower than that, you're going to need to stretch it, otherwise your paper will buckle and get waves. And why would you want to make things more difficult on yourself? Now I have done watercolors that are over five feet in height and stretched. I could do large washes in the background and that paper lays perfectly flat. So we're just going to put in the rest of the staples and then you let this dry and you'll be set to paint. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed that little lesson. Be sure to check out some of my other demos. And if you'd like to see some of my work, be sure to visit my website at www.mccormickstudios.com. Hope to see you at one of my workshops. See you soon.